Hello students, today in 3D we see the projection of line segment of another line. So we have to find out the projection of some line segment on some another line. This is the line segment AB. This is the line given line L equal to 0. We have to find out the length of the projection on this line. For this what you have to do? Draw the foot of perpendicular from A to this line say A dash and draw the another foot of perpendicular drawn from P to the same line say B dash. Now this length A dash B dash is the length of projection of AB on your line L is equals to 0. So in this situation you have to find the two foot of perpendiculars and then find the distance from these two points. It gives a large time. So we go through the another method for this. This is AB. Find the direction ratios of AB and find the direction cosines of the line L is equals to 0. Now immediately A dash B dash is obtained by direction ratios of AB dot direction cosines of L is equals to 0. It gives directly the length of projection A dash B dash of AB on your line L is equal to 0. How it happens? This is your line L is equals to 0. This is the line segment AB. Or AB. This is your line. Extend this AB up to here. If it is theta, then automatically this will be also theta. Because the two triangles are similar triangles. This is the projection. A dash B dash is your projection. It is equivalent to AC. It is equivalent to AC. If it is A bar and it is B bar, then projection of A bar on B bar is what? A bar dot B bar by modulus of B bar. That is nothing but A bar dot B cap. B bar by mod B bar is nothing but B cap. A bar in the sense direction ratios. B cap means direction cosines. So the direction ratios of the upper line dot the direction cosines of the baseline. DRs dot DCs. It gives the length of the projection of line segment on this line. Here it is not directly mentioned in your any textbook. DRs dot DCs we mean suppose the direction ratios are A1, B1, C1 and the direction cosines are L1, M1, N1. The direction ratios dot direction cosines means A1 L1 plus A2 L2 plus B1 B1 M1 sorry B1 M1 plus C1 N1 A1 L1 plus B1 M1 plus C1 N1 we mean direction ratios dot direction cosines okay. So with the help of the above concept let us find the shortest distance between the two skew lines. Suppose these two are skew lines. Skew lines means what? The lines which are not parallel, not intersected. Neither parallel nor intersected. Such type of lines are called skew lines. For example, these are the two lines. They do not intersect each other and they do not parallel. So such type of the lines are called skew lines. Okay, these are the skew lines. They do not intersect each other and they do not parallel to each other. Such type of lines are called skew lines. Okay, in three dimensional. So, suppose the first line is passing through the point x1, y1, z1 with direction ratios a1, b1, c1. And the another line passing through x2, y2, z2 having direction ratios a to B to C to. So these are the two lines. We have to find out the shortest distance between the two skew lines. So they are, they are not parallel, not intersect each other. 
therefore we have to find out the shortest distance between the two skew lines this is the line joining of the two points ab now i am going to write a line which is perpendicular to both of my lines l1 and l2 this is the line L1 equal to zero. This is L2 equal to zero. In figure, by looks um, parallel, but they are not parallel. Need not be parallel to each other. Okay, the point may be here. The line joining of AB like this, but the normal is same. One normal. This is the normal for both the lines. Understand? This is the normal. Now we have to find out the shortest distance between these two skew lines. Now observe this. these two lines are perpendicular at this point these two lines are also perpendicular they intersect at this point now here to here these two are perpendicular that means what is this a dash a dash is nothing but the foot of perpendicular drawn from a to this line okay similarly what is this b dash b dash is the foot of perpendicular from b to this line therefore what is this this is nothing but the projection of ab on this line by above concept what is the line n normal so this is nothing but the projection of projection of ab on normal normal to both lines l1 equal to 0 comma l2 is equals to 0 so your job becomes what you have to find out the projection of ab on normal so we find the direction ratios of the normal to the both lines it is obtained by i j k a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 from itself we can find the direction ratios of normal and hence find the direction cosines of the same normal we get the direction ratios and direction normals direction cosines of the normal and already you know the direction ratios of ab once if you know the direction ratios of ab and direction cosines of the normal then the shortest distance is equals to the projection it is nothing but modulus of direction ratios of ab dot direction cosines of n by the above concept but from itself you can easily find the shortest distance from between the two lines l1 equal to 0 and l2 equal to 0 it is very easy to remember okay okay students with the help of the above concept we do this one suppose l1 equal to 0 is line l2 is the another line or the two skew lines l3 is a line which is perpendicular to both l1 and l2 intersect at ab then what is the length of ab then what is the equation of ab we have to find out the two things what is ab length and what is the equation of ab l1 is the line and l2 is the another line these are the two lines its equations are in the parametric form now we have to find out the line l3 perpendicular to both l1 and l2 so this is line l3 which is perpendicular to the two lines the first line passing through what this is the line passing through 1 comma 0 comma 0 that is x1 y1 z1 its direction ratios are what minus 1 and 2 comma 2 what is the point on the second line here 0 0 0 0 this is a this is b what are the direction ratios of the second line 2 comma minus 1 comma 2 from the above concept what you have to find you have to find out the direction ratios of ab and direction cosines of the normal you have to find out what are the direction ratios of the line ab Direction ratios: one minus zero, one zero minus zero zero, zero minus zero zero. These are the direction ratios of AB. Now, how to find the direction ratios of normal I bar, J bar, K bar, and minus one, two, two, two minus one, two. That is I bar into four plus two, six minus J bar into minus two minus four minus six. Plus k bar times of 
वन माइनस फोर माइनस थ्री दट इज द डायरेक्शन रेशियो आर सिक्स कामा सिक्स कामा माइनस थ्री दीज मे बी टेकन एज टू कामा टू कामा माइनस वन दीज आर द डायरेक्शन रेशियो ऑफ नॉर्मल टू दि बोथ लाइन फ्रॉम दिस वाट आर डायरेक्शन को साइंस नाउ रूट ऑफ फोर प्लस फोर प्लस वन दट इज रूट नाइन थ्री डायरेक्शन को साइंस आर टू बै थ्री कामा टू बै थ्री कामा माइनस वन दीज आर द डायरेक्शन को साइंस डायरेक्शन को साइंस ऑफ नॉर्मल सो द डिस्टेंस ए डैश बी डैश दिस इज यू हेव टू फाइंड आउट ए डैश बी डैश इज नथिंग बैट मॉडल ऑफ मॉडल ए डैश बी डैश इज इक्वल्स टू मॉडल ऑफ वॉट इज दट डायरेक्शन रेशियो वन वन इंटू टू बै थ्री प्लस जीरो इंटू टू बै थ्री प्लस जीरो इंटू माइनस वन बै थ्री दट इज नथिंग बैट टू बै थ्री सो ए डैश बी डैश दिस इज द शार्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द बिटवीन द टू स्क्यू लाइन ए डैश बी डैश इज इक्वल टू टू बै थ्री इट्स डिस्टेंस इज टू बै थ्री यूनिट्स ओके Now we have to find out this equation of line perpendicular to both lines L1 equal to zero and L2 equal to zero. So that is normal to both the lines. It is very interesting. Already we find two comma two comma minus one are the direction ratios of the normal. Once if we have any point on this line, our job is over by writing the x minus x1 by L equal to y minus y1 by M equal to z minus z1 by N. So we have to find out one of the point on this line is your aim. Now, what is any point on the first line? Let us say lambda. It is say mu. Any point on the line is what minus lambda plus one comma two lambda comma two lambda. Any point on the second line is what two mu comma minus mu comma two mu. Okay, these are the two points on the two lines respectively. If it is my a dash and it is b dash, this is a dash. This is b dash. Then can you write the direction ratios of a dash b dash or not? So the direction ratios of direction ratios of a dash b dash are nothing but minus lambda plus one minus two mu comma two lambda plus mu comma two lambda minus two mu. These are the direction ratios of a dash b dash. B dash. Already we obtain the direction ratios of the normal are two two minus one. Both are proportional. Hence we have. Minus lambda plus one minus two mu by two is equals to two lambda plus mu by two is equals to two lambda minus two mu by minus one. Equate these two, we get some relation in lambda and mu. Equate these two, we get another relation in lambda and mu. By solving these two equations, we get lambda and mu. Substitute lambda here, we get point either a dash or b dash. Once if you know the point and line, we can write the equation of the line n. Okay. By equating these two, two two gets cancelled. Minus lambda plus one. Minus two mu is equals to two lambda plus mu implies three lambda plus three mu is equals to one. This is equation number one. By equating these two, two lambda plus mu is equals to minus four lambda plus four mu implies six lambda is equals to three mu. So instead of three mu, I write six lambda. 3 lambda plus 6 lambda is equals to 1 implies lambda is equals to 1 by 9 so substitute lambda is equals to 1 by 9 here we get the point a dash what is my a dash 1 minus 1 by 9 plus 1 comma 2 into 1 by 9 comma 2 into 1 by 9 that is 8 by 9 comma 2 by 9 comma 2 by 9. This is any point on this line. That is especially a dash. We have a point on the line n, and we have the direction ratios of the line n. So can you write the equation of line n or not? The equation is x minus 8 by 9 by 2 is equals to y minus 2 by 9 by 2 is equals to z minus 2 by 9 by minus 1. This is the equation of normal. To the both the lines. In this way, we can find the length of the normal and as well as the equation of normal to the both lines. Okay.